Hi guys, welcome to the Head Radical 2023 review. We are looking at the Auxetic models. These rackets are out in February of 2023, so keep an eye out for all things tennis when they drop. Specs wise, they're quite similar in terms of the models. You've got slight revisions of names. So you've got your Team L, Team, MP, and Pro in the Radical range, okay? The Pro, the heaviest model, was really popular with our best players of today. It's the most controlled out of the line and offers really nice stability. The MP for me, super versatile racket, does everything really well. This new modern Radical, as opposed to ones, you know, 10, 15 years ago, which were all about control. You've got a really nice balance now of power and control in these frames. And obviously the team is your kind of more club level player racket, but actually did very well today in terms of the testing. What do I think of the new technology at Auxetic? The one thing the Auxetic is supposed to do is add a little bit more feel to the frames, which I think it does, to be fair. I think when you're hitting a slower ball, so the material doesn't stretch, it remains softer. And when you're hitting bigger balls, so a big flat forehand, or maybe trying to hit the serve, flat down the tee, the material, when it's stretched, or set it becomes stronger and stiffer. So that did translate to our testers here today. I think it's a really nice addition to the line. I'm a big fan actually of the Auxetic material. I think it makes it very comfortable, powerful frames. Let's introduce our testers and see how they get on. Okay, so I'm joined here by Tom Perkins. Tom is a full-time coach at the moment here at Winchester, and he also plays national level tennis at the over 40s level. So Tom has used Radicals as his kind of head-sponsored racket for many years. Today, he's tried out the Radical MP and Pro. So he normally uses the Pro. Why don't you start talking to us about the Pro? How did this compare first off to your kind of current racket, the Radical Pro in the Graphene 360? Just felt like it gave me a bit more control. Definitely felt smoother. Swing-wise, I hit the ball quite flat, but definitely a bit more forgiving that I could get a bit more spin and slice. And when I was hitting him with the other guys, just felt nice and smooth. And then in terms of feel on impact, this new Auxetic technology is supposed to soften the impact a little bit. It also reacts differently to different shots. So it's a material that stretches, and when it's stretched, it becomes a little bit stiffer. So imagine on a flatter shot, it can maybe stiffen up a little bit. As it's softer, maybe on the kind of top swim ball there, it's gonna have that little bit more of a soft feel. Did that translate through when you were playing? Yeah, definitely felt like I got more purchase on a lot of my shots. Slice felt really good. Hitting the ball flatter as well, which is good for me, yeah. Okay, so then, the MP versus the Pro. Obviously, the MP is a little bit more manoeuvrable. What did you feel like was a major difference between the two? Which one did you prefer? Preferred the Pro for control. MP definitely had a bit more gas, obviously, because it's a little bit lighter, but definitely felt that the Pro had just that little bit more for me. But I don't know if that's because I'm used to playing with that one, but yeah. um, this one definitely had more power. Volleys, I felt both were really good. I'd probably, for playing, I'd probably use the Pro. Maybe yeah. for coaching, I would probably venture in and use the MP, yeah. just because that little bit of extra feel and just a little bit of easy power, trying to be a bit lazy while we're coaching. But um, I felt volleys the same, good feel, good good cut on the strings, mm -hmm. definitely good feel. Overheads were good, nice smooth, yeah. new, nice smooth frame. Yeah, so today we've made sure both rackets are strung exactly the same. So they're strung with head links tour at 54 pounds. Is that, do you normally play with full poly or do you tend to use like a hybrid? or Definitely hybrid on, hybrid, the, on the yeah. elbow because we're yeah. on court quite a lot. But I like the Lynx. I think Lynx is a great string and it felt really good. Felt nice and yeah. smooth, yeah. And have you used the Lynx Tour before? Because this is the shaped version. Yeah, yeah, I've used this one before, but I'd still probably use for playing matches with yeah. a hybrid. But yeah. I still think great string. Felt good. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about serves. In terms of the whole lineup you tried today, which was a standout performer for you in terms of serves? Pro for sure. Just that little bit of extra weight coming through when I'm serving. I've got quite a flat serve. Yeah. So I felt like that just little bit of extra weight in the head just gave me that bit of pump okay. that I needed. Yeah. I this one for control, sorry, just this one for control again, even though it's got a bit more power, if you want to get a bit more slice, I'd say that the, the MP would give you that. Okay, yeah. And so talk to us, radicals compared to other head rackets you try. So we have all the demos here. 
What does a radical kind of mean to you in terms of when you're playing with it compared to other rackets? I think it's just a nice, simple frame to hit through the ball. I think it gives you every shot that you need. I think some of the other head frames are great for certain ways that you play, but I think the radical's just got everything that you need. Yeah. And exactly. just very adaptable and just great all-round frame. Okay, yeah, so that kind of versatility coming through there with the Radical. It is a racket that's designed for players, an all-court player, you say. Head kind of market is a people's racket, so it's designed for all sorts of player. Definitely, if you're an advanced player looking for something that's stable, that offers a nice mix of control and power, that is a pro, I feel like, from when we're testing it today. The MP, especially when I was playing, it's so nice in terms of whipping it through. Obviously, it felt like the swing rate was quite low on that but it still feels stable. So which one are you taking forward for the new year? The Pro. The Pro. All day long. There you have it, Tom. The Winchester Tennis Club's gonna be using the Radical Pro Oxetic version for the new year. Hi guys, I'm joined by our second tester, Chris Hook. Chris played a uh, good level at university and now plays for the first team here at Winchester. You describe yourself as a grinder slash tactical player, are we going for? Yeah. For the right. camera, we're going for a tactical player, yeah. okay? Difficult to play against, can do every shot, makes you play hit a lot of balls. I guess that's what the Radical is all about as well in terms of an all-court player. So, what racket do you use currently? Uh, so currently I use the Fablat Pure Aero, the 300 grams version. Spin it gives me, um, lets me place the ball where I want, it kicks it up for my opponents so it's harder for them to attack. Um, but also the slightly lighter weight at 300 grams means that I can get through a match without sort of overtiring my arm or anything like that. I think meant, you mentioned the Pro, you found it a little bit heavy throughout the yeah, game. Yeah. So the MP, we'll start off with this. This is more, I guess, towards Chris's specs in terms of the weight at 300 grams. What did you feel about the MP then? Talk us through it. What, what did it do well for you and where maybe wasn't it so good? So I felt the MP was, first of all, really stable to swing through um, and it cuts through the air pretty cleanly so you don't feel like you're dragging a heavy racket around. The launch off the MP was also a lot, it, it gave a, a, a higher launch angle than with the Pro, which is probably why I got on well with it. Very plush to hit through with, but it, it didn't it didn't lack any feel. I had all the feel there to hit sort of drop shots or volleys. Um, so yeah, a very nice racket to, to play with. It does a lot of things really well. It's a very versatile racket, the MP. Interestingly then, going on to the team, this is one we probably maybe earmarked for it being a little bit too light by testing it today, but would I be right in saying this one that surprised you in terms of how it played? Definitely. Um, I think possibly it's got a bit more, it's got a slightly larger head and maybe a bit more weight in the head, so it didn't lack any stability in my opinion. Um, it gave a bit more pop. Um, and a bit more sort of consistent depth, especially when defending, which is, as I mentioned before, that sort of my play style is a bit more defensive. Um, the sort of 280 grams weight of it, it's, for me, it wasn't as noticeable that it was significantly lighter than the MP. Uh, I felt that it had all the sort of same characteristics, maybe just a little less. Once you got it going, it had a little less momentum behind it than the MP, but I thought very similar rackets uh, overall. Again, it's got a slightly higher launch angle than the MP as well, so when you're sort of digging balls out from um, from the floor, it's actually really easy to get them a bit of depth on them and get a bit of pace on them in that yeah. situation too. Okay then, so interesting then. The team is up there, I think, but then let's talk about what you'd actually go forward. What would you be comfortable in taking into a match going forward playing with? What, which one would it be for you? For me, I would say it would be the team because I think the slightly lighter weight means that I can get through a match with more energy. For example, maybe I'm playing two or three matches in a day. Um, the slightly reduced weight would, would help out there and I think the performance for me was, was equally as good. There you go, Chris would actually take the radical team going forward, the 280 grams, so a surprising one there for us. So I'm joined by our third tester, Katie, here now. Katie used to play for Loughborough first team at university, good national level player. Not playing maybe as much as you'd like to now? Um, still play a fair bit where I can, but not as much as I used to, for sure. Katie is used to kind of the, uh, currently uses the speed, I think. So first try out of these new radicals. What did you think? I think we're looking really solely at the MP and Pro here because you're used to those weights in terms of the speed. In terms of the Radical, what kind of stood out for you in these rackets today? Um, I thought it was really comfortable and it, it was like suitable for every shot. Even when I came into the net, I felt like it had 
good control. So I think it's, it's a good range between power and control with allowing you to get spin as well. So it's, it's good for an all-court sort of player that um, allows you to hit every shot. The MP obviously quicker in terms of feeling the racket, but where did the MP shine for you compared to the pro? Um, MP, I'd say it gives you a little bit more power than the pro. Um, allows you to hit it a bit deeper, but I'd say the pro probably better, a bit more control, more weight of shot, um, and it didn't feel too heavy for me. Um, I think where it's balanced meant it's, it's not, it doesn't feel too heavy. So I'd say I'd probably go with the pro just because it allowed me to control the ball a bit more. I felt like I was hitting a bit long with the MP, um, and in my game. Um, I'd feel like I'd need a bit more control over power. That definitely translated when I was hit with Katie, you've obviously got a little bit more weight on the ball. I think that's a real distinction for me from the pro, obviously you get a little bit more control with the pro, but it's a weight of shot. If you are more of an advanced player looking for a controlled racket and you need that weight of ball, that's where the pro really shines. So that kind of makes sense to me. That, uh, you felt like you changed between the two? But... Yeah, there, there wasn't a massive difference, um, but I did feel I, I was hitting it a bit deeper with the MP, maybe missing a bit more. Um, so I feel like for my game, I, I'd go with the pro. Okay, so there you have it. Katie referred the pro here today, that extra stability. She doesn't feel like the weight is too much for her in terms of she uses that sort of weight already. So you do get that extra stability and that extra weight of ball when you're hitting against your opponent. So, perfect. Okay, so some interesting views there from our testers. We had some real surprises there, I think. I think Chris, even going forward with the team, is a big surprise for me. I'd earmark that really is just a club level player racket. So, you know, Chris is placed to a good enough standard, which we thought he'd be MP or pro. The team shone through really well there. I think that's the authentic technology coming to the fore in terms of the stability. The MP was probably the favourite today in terms of doing everything really, really well. It's a super versatile racket. We're big fans of that here at All Things Tennis. And the pro is for those players that have their own swing speeds. They want a little bit more weight on the ball compared to the MP. And they have that control element. It was definitely the most controlled out of the line. So a really nice update to the ever popular Head Radicals. They're very easy to use rackets and they offer exactly what they set out to do with a very versatile racket that does everything very well. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Please hit a like and subscribe so we can give you more exclusive videos on pre-releases like that. And thanks ahead for the opportunity to review this racket.